bunch of rotors in. Okay, so the first things first, let's get the wheel off and let's get this jacked up. So okay? As you recall, um, we've done brakes before, right? So what we need to do is uh, unhook the um, two screws in the back, unhook this plate. That will let us get this out, okay? So let's start with that first and then we'll need to get this out as well, all right? Okay, so um, I've gotten the brake out, okay? So it, I hung it up for now just to get it out of the way. So the next thing is I need to get this out and uh, it's 5 eighths. There are two two bolts, so once I do that, I should be able to get to the, uh, the rotor, all right? Okay, so I got the bracket out and that was using a 5 eighths, okay? So now the next thing is to um, loosen this up, take this out, bang on a little bit and this whole thing will come right out, all right? So there you have it. Once you take out the screw, uh, it requires a little gentle tap and the whole thing will come right out. As you can see from my other videos, this is a, uh, it's a bit old. Now, it's not that bad, but in reality is, is, you know, here's my opportunity to replace the whole rotor. I mean, since I've got the whole set, I might as well do it, right? So the only thing I need to do now is take a brush, clean all these sections out, right? and then just go in reverse and put everything back in. All right, okay, so this is in, that's locked in place. This is locked in place, okay? So now I gotta put the brakes back in. The only other thing is that I may need to push the calibers out in order to fit this in because as you can see, this is brand new. The other one was much thinner. So very similar to what I did with, with the brakes, right? Um, I gotta unplug the uh, sensor, push this out, put everything back in, and then, um, Put the wheels back on and then apply the brakes a few times and it should be able to catch in place okay so there you have it okay new strut a uh, new mo uh, rotor okay everything's all hooked back up everything's all locked in place even this is in place the only thing left is to put the wheel on and press the brakes a few times to uh, ensure that the brake catches and that's it all right I've got four more to go but same concept Okay, everything's back in shape. Everything's back in, let me go test the brakes. But already, I mean, what a huge difference from that cruddy, rusty looking uh, rotor to this one, all right? Now, I, I know you guys, you guys like your slotted with uh, a few other options, but for me, this is not a, a show car. So you know what, newer is better than none, all right? Have fun.